Hi everyone, it's Chloe back here at our Heavy Tree Road location in greenhouse number one, fill it with our spillers. And today I'm gonna to take you through uh, my personal top five spillers for any container. So first up the bat, we have Biddens. They come in a variety of colors. Uh, here I've chosen the reds. We do also offer a really bright sunshine yellow and another one that has yellow tip, uh, white tips actually, and a yellow center. Uh, but I've chosen the red. I think the reds are absolutely gorgeous and they're going to match pretty much anything you put into your garden. Uh, so this one's part of the spiller component of your actual container. So this one's gonna fall down the side. The bins are also fantastic because they will fill in the rest of your basket and you will find that through your other flowers, it will poke up through. So it gives that nice whole container effect. So that's one of them. And these are in no particular order, by the way. Now, my second favorite, again in no particular order, is Lobelia. So Lobelia is a classic favorite. It comes in the most gorgeous blues and whites and purples. Now a fun fact is it's really hard to get an actual pure blue flower. So this one is truly unique in so many ways. We actually pair this one up sometimes with uh, nonstop begonias, which for the gardeners out there know that they are some real shade lovers. So the Lobelia, though it does like a bit of sun, it also can withstand the shade and will put out these beautiful little blue blooms on it. So that's another one. Next, we have Dorianthus. So this is a succulent type trailer that is absolutely gorgeous. And though it's not in flower now, I will show you the tag it will get these really tiny red flowers on it. Now, though this one isn't really known for its big flower production, it gets massive. I've had this one in my container for three years now, and every year by the end of the season, it is this far down below the pot, and usually from here to here, just one plant alone. So if you want something that's really gonna fill out, this is a gorgeous one to go with. And the variegated leaves always help bring out the other colors in your basket as well. Next up, Lobularia. So this one is absolutely gorgeous. You get these globes of little tiny flowers that just look and smell fantastic. So if you are someone who has a fantastic smell, I do not, working on a farm, um, these ones are gonna be fantastic for you. So again, similar to the Biddens, these will pop up through your other flowers and give that whole full effect while also trailing down the sides. So when the wind picks these up, you'll have beautiful smells and beautiful flowers all summer long. And last, we have Black Eyed Susans. This is gotta be one of my top, top, top favorites. We have them here in our baskets as well, all going down through number one. As you can see, they trail gorgeously. Obviously, I like something that looks like a jungle. Um, so this one's gorgeous. Uh, as well as it falling down the sides, it can also climb up trellises. So if you are someone who has maybe a spot in the garden that's not full yet, these are a great one. Or if you do have a clematis and it's not in bloom yet, you can balance it out with some Black Eyed Susans that will bloom all summer long. And then when your clematis is also in bloom, the two of them together will just look stunning. So those are my top five. Um, if you guys wanna find them, you'll find them all here in number one. And if you ever have any questions on it, there's always a ton of us here to help you out.